Hello everyone. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to take pre-workout. I have here batch 27 pre-workout to be my lovely assistant and taking pre-workout. I've done a video on when to take pre-workout, but how to take it is a whole other thing. So they usually give you directions on the tub itself and how to take it. And it's pretty straightforward in all honesty. You might see, well, you will see a lot of people doing dry scoops of their pre-workout. I don't recommend doing that because this stuff actually needs to mix with the water in order for it to be properly absorbed by the body. If you got an empty stomach or dry scoop and your stomach acid is just going to be burning that up and it's not going to be as effective as if it was mixed with water for your body to be able to absorb it and digest it a little bit better. So I always recommend if you're using a pre-workout or any supplement for that matter to mix it with water like it's meant to be. These things have delicious flavors and the intention is that you get to enjoy the flavor. So. Uh, mixing it with water is kind of the best way to do it. There might be some people mad at me saying that dry scooping is not good, but the science is out there on that. It can be a fun way to do it, I guess, but I don't really recommend doing it. But typically with a pre-workout, it's going to say take it anywhere from 30 minutes to 60 minutes pre-workout. And um, that is kind of how it's done. Take one serving one time a day, mix half scoop to with one and half to one cup of water. That's not a lot. I recommend, I usually do like 600 mils of water. 500, 600 is really good for like a scoop. I find it just mixes perfectly and has a good taste. You don't want it to be too strong or too watered down. So 500, 600 milliliters is kind of what I do. Immediately for consumption, stir well and drink immediately. So you can blend this up pretty simple. So that works really well. Take one serving once daily, adults, blah, blah, blah. So with your healthcare practitioner for usage above 80 or eight weeks. So um, some people cycle off their pre-workouts and do recommend going to see a doctor, even to see if you should be taking pre-workout because I'm not a medical doctor. I can't tell you to take pre-workout, but go talk to a doctor. So I'm just gonna throw in one scoop there, mix it up and I'll kind of give you the lowdown on how to take pre-workout, which I don't know what gave me the idea to come up with this video, but I don't know, someone out there might need this, so. Just shake it up like this. Most shaker cups are pretty good to dissolve it really quickly. This one's got a rod in the middle with a shaker. It's kind of like a blender ball, but it just goes up and down on the rod. Mixes it up really easy. And cheers. So I'm going to the gym in around 30 minutes, 45 minutes, so. Mix up my pre. I'm ready to roll. It's really that straightforward. That's how you take pre-workout. There's other more creative ways you can take pre-workout. Like I've made pre-workout gummies before where I mixed it with gelatin and heated it up, did all that magic and made gummy pre-workout. But I don't know, drinking it is just, it's kind of a ritual for me before the gym, having a good taste in pre-workout. I don't know, it just helps, it helps me. It might not help you. Uh, and again, don't recommend taking pre-workout unless you check with your doctor first because that can cause some health issues if you got issues of caffeine or any of the other ingredients that are in it so yeah that is how you take pre-workout and now i'm gonna go crush a workout so thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video please hit the like and subscribe button below and i will see you in the next video